Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn Don't Know Why by Nora Jones. A brilliant, brilliant song, brilliant composition, now in finger style, especially for you Lickin' Riffers. So first I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down note by note, finger position by finger position, lick by lick, riff by riff, with tabs right here on the screen as usual. Goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so this beautiful song, this beautiful composition begins with a G chord, and I strongly recommend that you use your thumb for the bass, G, okay, three on the sixth round. And I'm gonna tell you why, you're gonna see in a second. The first melody is actually a chromatic melody. It's two, three, one on the first string. <laughs> Okay? And then you have three on the, the first string again, and three pull off the zero on the second string. Now, if you have your thumb on the bass, this is really easy. If you put on a G chord, this is really complicated. Okay? You need to change position. Okay? Or let go of something. It's really inconvenient. And if you have your thumb on the bass, then it's just a simple solo. It's two, three, one. Okay, you play the whole chord. Strings one, two, three, and six. Two, three, one. And then three on the first string, three pull off to zero on the second. And you have the whole chord ringing throughout. Okay, it's still ringing, bass included. Okay? And you can harmonize with the chord. Okay? And that is fingerstyle. That's the magic of fingerstyle. It's playing really complex stuff without much effort. And then you have C with one, three on the second string. Then you have B augmented. B augmented is a B7 chord without the fingers on the first string and the third string. Okay, it's just the fingers on one and two on strings four and five. And you play strings two, three, four, and five. This is, G, uh, this is B augmented. Okay? Zero, zero, one, two on strings two to five. Hammer on to two, zero again on the third string. Okay? And then, again, the beauty of finger style, you have E minor seven and A seven, but you don't really have to put anything on except for one finger. Three on the second string, and you play strings six, three, two. Okay? And then you have A7. You just take that finger to two on the second string, okay, from three to two, and you play strings two, three, and five. 
-hmm. This is A7. So for E7, you put the finger on three on the second string and you play string six, three, two. And then A7, two on the second string and the open third and the open fifth all together. Okay? So E minor is arpeggiated, okay? one note after another. The A7 chord is a block chord, everything together. Then you have D7 and you play the second and third strings three times. And three on the first string. G bringing you back to G. Okay? So obviously, okay, you play the bass note, the D string, okay, you play it with the first note. Okay, the D string is ringing throughout. So that's the intro, G. And then C. B augmented. E minor 7. A7. D7. G. Okay? Now, it's up to you how you want to play this. Because there's a chromaticism on the 4th string. Okay? You have... Okay? You have that G major 7 to G7 again. So it's four on the D string and three on the D string. Okay? So I play it like this, okay, using three fingers. You can use your thumb. Okay, it's actually a lot easier. Okay? But I don't know why. Pun completely unintended. I don't know why, but I got used to playing it like this which is the least convenient way, okay? Not the least, but the less convenient way, okay? So you can do it with your thumb. Now, the melody is 3-0-0 zero, zero on the second string. So what you do is this, you play the bass, okay, G, and you play three and four on strings two and four, and then you have the open second string, and then you have the open string again with three on the fourth. And then the open second string again. Okay, so there are four notes. Three, zero, zero, zero. You play the four and the three with the first and third notes, if this makes it easier for you to remember. Okay, uh, so it's one note with a bass note, one note without a bass note. Okay, twice. Okay, you have another note. And then you take your first finger and you slide from four to two on the third string. And then you play the C bass, three on the fifth. And then you pull off the finger on the third string. Okay, after you play the bass. Okay, now I don't mind if the rest of the chord is ringing, I like it, okay? But you can just play that note, okay? And then you have this, okay, which is four and two on strings two and five. Okay, this is a B chord. Okay, this is B. But we add the note from the augmented chord, the open third string. Okay, so it's okay, C and B with that added note. And then you have this the E bass, slide to five on the fourth string, and then four on the third, okay? Now we could do the same thing, uh, sorry, okay, we could arpeggiate it with the open strings, but where's the fun in that, okay? We need to be expressive, so, okay? Slide to five and four on strings four and three, and then you have Okay, an A chord, you play strings three, four, five. And then you have the open third string, two on the fourth. So, and then you have this. Okay, it's the open third and fourth strings. Okay, we're on D again. And then you hammer on uh, two to four on the third string. And this brings you back to G, so. 
So you play the bass afterwards. You can use your thumb, you can use a finger. Okay? And then you play everything again. G. And then... Okay? Exactly the same. And then you have a second ending. Okay? So you play the D again. Okay? Strings 3 and 4 open. But then you have this. Okay? Hammer on to 2. And then the open 3rd string again. And then the G bass. Okay? You play the open third string twice when you hammer on. Okay, you don't play it and then hammer on. You don't. Okay, you play it twice. Okay. Okay. Then you have the G bass. That's the second ending. So the first ending, okay, with two hammer on to four. Second ending, hammer on. And then the open string. And then, for the uh, ending of the verse, you play E minor to the second ending again. Okay? She repeats this line. Don't know why I didn't come. And then you have the chorus. The chorus starts with... Okay, this is just E minor with three on the first string. That's it. So you play strings one, two, three, and six. And three, you play it three times. You can slide to it. And then you have A7. Okay, so it's two and two on strings one and two. And you play it with the open third string. So it's this. It's actually A13, okay? Technically. Okay, you play 2-2-0 two, two, on the first string, and then you play 3-3 three, three on the second string into a D chord. Okay, so it's... And then you have D7 with 1 on the second string. And then it's a solo line. Okay, I stole this from Pet Metheny's arrangement of Don't Know Why. I contemplated... I'm um, teaching you his arrangement, but it's really, really difficult. So, okay, so I made my own arrangement, but I stole a couple of lines. Okay, so this is a really brilliant ending. So D, D7, and then you have the D bass again with two slide to four on the third. Okay, and then three on the second, and then four pull off to three and two on the third. Okay, chromaticism. And then you have E minor again, okay, with only two threes. Okay, just twice. And then zero three. And then you have this cool A chord. Okay, A7. It's five two on strings one and two with the open third string and the open fifth string. And then, okay, a blues line. Five on the second string, and then five, six, five, double slide, pull off to three. Okay, a little bit of a Tommy Emmanuelism there. Okay, and then, okay, it's D. Okay, you play the bass and then strings two and three. And then you play D over C, which is D7 with the 7 on the bass. Okay, you play bass chord again. And then you have G over B, which is 2 on the 5th, 3 on the 2nd, and you play the chord twice. And then you have D7 over A, which is D7, but you play strings 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? And then hammer on to two on the D string, open G string, okay? Hammer on to two on the fourth, open third, and you're back to the beginning. Okay, or... Okay? And that's your arrangement. 
So download the tab. The tab is for free. All tabs on Lick and Riff are for free. The link is below in the description. And while you are there, check out my Break Your Boundaries course program. My flagship course program containing over 15 course modules and I just released a new course module this month yeah I told you about it at the beginning of the month and um, it's spectacular hey okay? and that's all I can say I don't want to touch my own horn just go check it out lickandriff.com slash courses and see for yourself okay it's gonna take your playing your guitar playing and musical knowledge to the stratosphere okay you're gonna play like you never imagined so thank you so much for watching bye for now have fun and enjoy this arrangement